So we are going to a Studio 6A. I'm not sure if it's the official name, but it's a studio. And I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna be playing this thing. And you might say, oh, it's a cigar box guitar. Well, yes and no. If you look at the neck and the fretting, it's actually a dulcimer. Dulcimer. Which, it's a there's a difference. So we're gonna say hi to Steve Arvey and Trevor, Trevor Bystrom. <laughs> Look! Hey, what's going on? This is Steve Harvey. Look! Hey, how you doing? It's me again. It's him again. <laughs> and this is Trevor Bystrom. How you doing? And, yeah. Look at that, we both have the same guitar. Oh, yeah. McDonough, Georgia. Actually, it's one guitar is just moving really, really fast because of the electron instability. That's why it looks like two. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> did, you, did you see the picture I sent you? What, about green beans? I love the green bean picture, yeah. I mean, never forget the green bean boogie. Oh my god. James! Good. James! So yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm back, man. I got my, I got my clan privileges. Good. So in 1997, I was playing the Columbus Blues. My name is Steve Harvey, and you can check me out on Snopes. <laughs> <laughs>
works Steve. right next door to the, uh, No, no, you're yeah, green yes. bean. Green bean, Steve. So I say hi to him every Green bean, Steve. Green bean, Steve. Green bean, Steve. Green 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 you had red tide. All the stone crabs are dead. Yeah, you have red tide, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're green bean, Steve. Yeah. You could be seagull, Steve. Yeah. Dude, Steve's totally a pelican. <laughs> yes! Just no. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to what's going on. These pickups, there's three like microphonic pickups. Yeah. They're like little microphones. So I started picking up here. Give the, give. So I started singing. Um... Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You're gonna live once when you did. You're gonna live in the good time roll. In the good time roll. <laughs> Wait, what was that? For other, there's some of the locals. Supposedly, some of the locals don't like me. That's uh, not no. true. That's not true. You made the monkey bus song. Oh, that <laughs> monkey bus song. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's do this. Take number forty-five. <laughs> Let's get back to work. <laughs> God, we're like a bunch of kids here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Studio 6A, Trevor Bystrom, right here, uh, multi-instrumentalist on all kinds of uh, like uh, native instruments of different parts yeah. of the world, also drummer, James. How you doing? James, what's up? Cajon Assist. Cajon Assist. Yes, really nice grooves, really. I had no clue that we were gonna do this. I thought we were just gonna, you know, just do something. And it turned out into like this nice recording session with Steve, you know, wanting to retake my guitar solo multiple times. 
<laughs> you got I gotta admit it came out pretty good. Well, it was, it was, I think, I think it was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. I think it was damn good. So this is a didgeridoo you can fit in your pocket if you're wearing like cargo shorts or something, but easily fit into like a backpack. Like on like a six foot long didgeridoo or, so it sounds, doesn't sound as good of course, just pocket one, but here it is. Check out Steve Harvey, check out Trevor, check out the, uh, the uh, James, the cajonist, the drummer, the percussionist, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. Now it got really dark. That means the video is about to end. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching whatever this was, and uh, we'll see you in another video. How about that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So in 1997, I was playing the Columbus Blues Alliance concert series, the festival, with Craig Ketting. And what had happened was uh, Robert Jr. Lockwood, who's a very famous Ohio blues artist, he's actually from the South originally, but he lived in Ohio, they had him play perform before uh, earlier his acoustic show. Craig Kenning and I subsequently went up and we started playing uh, our set. And um, Robert Jr. Lockwood was hungry and he sat out in the audience and he was like, you know, about, I'd say about 50 feet from me and he was just chowing these chicken wings down. <laughs> And I'm sitting up there playing, and uh, he's, the, he, he's even getting some of the barbecue sauce on his beard, and he's eating these chicken wings. And I'm like, from the, uh, from the stage, I'm like, hey, everybody, how about Robert Jr. Lockwood over there? He's really liking these chicken wings, eh? And, and, <laughs> and, and Robert looks up at me like this, you know, and he's got barbecue sauce, and everybody's like looking at him. So later on, I'm sitting there. We get done with it. Everybody get applause. Uh -huh. We sit there. We go to the concert. We're, you know, we're, we're signing after the concert. We're signing. CDs and everything, and here comes Robert Jr. Lockwood. He goes, I need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? He goes, get up. And so he pulls me in the back, you know, where there's nobody. He goes, you never embarrass another man in front of another man in front of a crowd. That's a sin. You know that. He says, I'm eating chicken wings. I got barbecue sauce all over my face. And you sat there and you made fun of me. I said, I wasn't making fun of you. I just sucked how much you like the chicken wings. That's not right. So anyway, 2004. All these years later, well, it's not that many years, seven years later, I'm sitting in Chicago at Honey Boy Edwards' birthday party, and I come in and I get stuck in the elevator at the Conrad Hilton, at that slow elevator that you see in the movie uh, The Fugitive, and it's a very slow-moving freight elevator. And, there, and, and he gets in the elevator over on the other side, and I'm sitting on the other side, and he starts looking at me like this. And he's giving me this eye, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I hope he doesn't remember the chicken wing situation. And then we get out of the elevator, and we're sitting at, 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 the, at, the, at, this, at this Honey Boy's party, and he's still looking at me over the table, staring at me. Then later, all of a sudden, he comes over to me about a half an hour, and he goes, You! You're the chicken wing guy! You called me out! I'm like, how can you remember? Seven years later!